We are at the start of the Giro d'Italia here in Appledorn in the Netherlands, and we are going on a tech hunt challenge. Basti, what are the rules, mate? I'm intrigued. Do you know what I'm like? I'm like a tech sponge. Well, it's a competition, Matt. We're going to look for four bits of tech. We are going to look for our favourite frame, frame, our favourite wheels, wheels, biggest chain ring, biggest chain ring, right? Biggest and ring. Yep. We each have to come up with a special tech surprise at the end. I don't know. We'll get a neutral party to decide the winner. A little tech nugget. Right. Let's go. Good luck. Challenge accepted. I reckon I've spotted probably the biggest chainring size that is going to be used in today's time trial. That is a 58 on that specialised S-Works ship right over there. I actually can't go over the tape and my eyesight isn't good enough to find out exactly what size it is, but it looks like a 58. Definitely a 58. Deep into my tech safari, I've donned my tech safari shorts and I've come across this Vilia Twin Blade TT bike as ridden by the Willia Southeast team. First off, colour schemes looks very Euro, but it has a really unique feature at the front end, and this is why it's called a twin blade. Just take a look at that. We've got a wider profile fork, we've got a wider profile seat tube, and a wider profile down tube as well, to minimise the amount of turbulence that's created by the wheels. Again, really deep into my tech safari, I found this Canyon Speedmax CF belonging to Anton Vorboyev of Katusha. Just have a look at this ring down here. It's tucked away. You wouldn't ordinarily see it unless you've got an extremely trained eye. We've got a 58 SRAM big ring there, all ready and prepped for the TT. Fascinating. Ajay Dazair, like other Zip sponsor team Katusha, are going to be running an 808 in the front and a Zip disc at the back. They're my favourite wheels for today. I'm going to show you why when we head over to the Katusha team and take a look at the custom graphics they have on the disc wheels. Let's go. So, I did say that one of the reasons that Zips were my favourite wheels was because of the incredible job they've done with what they call impress graphics on the Katusha disc wheels. Impress means they're not decals, they're part of the wheel, if you will. Here we go, Katusha graphics on their disc wheels right there, looking really good. My favourite wheels at the time trial today. An interesting bit of aero wheel tech that I've spotted with the Tinkoff team. They're obviously using specialised ships, have been for a couple of years, but it's the head wheel, so you've got the rear disc, but it's actually only a fairing. They're not full carbon at all. You can just see how, uh, how flexible that is, but still very aerodynamic indeed. And they're running high pressures as well. And up at the front, we've got head H3 tri-spokes. Again, high pressures, but these are full carbon. There aren't any massive chain rings on the Movistar Canyons, and I think the wheels are really cool, but we're definitely going to find some more interesting looking ones out in the pits. But yeah, there's Canyon Speedmax CF frames. are definitely some of my favorite looking out there in the peloton. They have released a new model though, so when we get back out there, I'm going to try and find the new model, because that is going to be my ultimate bike for today's Time Trial Tech Hunter Challenge. I promised you the brand new Movistar Canyon. This is exactly the same frame. It is the brand new Canyon Speedmax CF SLX. This one belongs to Ilna Zakarin. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. And it's red, and red things go faster. Everyone knows that. This is my favorite frame at the time trial today. Quick pause, come for your saddle out there. I'm here with the Badiani CSF team, and on this Cipollini TT bike, apart from the rather funky Campagnolo Aero chainset, check out these B Pro pedals. They're actually power meters as well, just showing the uh, increasing amount of areas where, where power is being gathered from these days. You see anything different about the Speedplay pedal? Golf ball dimples on the underside. It's got to be one of the ultimate, like most like, marginal gains ever, but it looks so cool. So, so cool. My favorite little bit of tech that I've spotted so far today. Right, well our neutral adjudicator didn't show up, so we are relying on you to decide who won our time trial tech challenge. Matt or Tom, let us know down in the comments below. I don't know where, oh, here he is. Well, Matt is Matt's arrived, finally. Have I missed anything? I was really not deep much, in tech much. safari then. Really? I've got some really cool tech that I'm, I'm sure so you did. excited. I'm sure you did. I tell you what, if tech is your thing, how about clicking up to our tech playlist just up here. And as we are at the Giro d'Italia, and that's tickled your fancy, click down here for our Giro d'Italia playlist. And to subscribe, just click on the globe.